SOS family, good morning. It's Saturday actually, and I keep thinking it's Friday. Like, man, ever since I started this job, just everything changed up. And to be honest, guys, I've actually been slacking. I haven't been uh, working out, I haven't been keeping up with my diet lately uh, for bodybuilding with calisthenics. In fact, I actually dropped. Ew, ew. In fact, I actually dropped below 150 again. I don't know if it was just water weight or I, it was probably water weight because I've been dehydrated lately. I actually went to the store and got some food or snacks. Like all of this right here. These are just snacks, okay? S something I could bring to work and it's easy for me to get some carbs in. I got some Oreos, right? 110 calories per two cookies. I don't really care about the fats, carbs, and protein to be honest. It has a lot of carbs, so that's what matters to me the most. I get my protein from my meat and my real meals anyway. I got this, uh, what is that? 110 calories, a lot of carbs, just cookies, right? Same for this, this is like 110 calories per two cookies. And I got some Nutri-Grain Nutri bars. For those of you guys who don't know what Nutri-Grain bars are, they're just like cereal bars. So I also did a weigh-in uh, at work using this Tanita scale. It was so sick. You know what? I'm going to weigh myself at work again, and I'm going to bring the receipt that it, pr it prints out. It, bas it basically prints out a receipt showing your body fat percentage, your weight, your... It shows you a lot of freaking crap, man. And apparently I'm 11.6 body fat, but I won't take that... I won't take that as an accurate measurement because I was so dehydrated and hungry that my body just was I guess it was at the optimal level of being measured for that type of stuff so but I'm still gonna try and show you guys just to show you guys how sick it looks but I'm actually going to do the weigh-in right now for my you know bodybuilding with calisthenics episode so let's get into it It says 151. You see how it says 151, right? So basically, last night I drank a lot of water. I was so thirsty. And anytime I drink water the night before, like I'm, I'm hydrated, I weigh 151. So I guess, I guess the measurements or the, the, yeah, the measurements at work were incorrect because when I get to work, I will, I wouldn't even drink water until like freaking seven o'clock. I get to work at, at around 10 o'clock. I don't drink water the entire day, so I'm dehydrated, but I'm so focused on my work that I barely eat. Like, I eat two two freaking uh, containers of macaroni and chicken or, or chicken and rice, and I just get so hungry and so thirsty, and it's just like, dang, like, I haven't been following up with my diet. I've been, I've been messing up. I can't lie. So that's a big reason why I'm not going to be gaining muscle anytime soon or gaining weight anytime soon. Not because of the workouts. The workouts are fine. But yo, when it comes down to the diet, like I'm really trying to just figure out something I could eat consistently throughout the days. And it's just pissing me off because this is like wasted time. And that's a big reason why I was so hesitant in starting bodybuilding with calisthenics. I want to make sure I had enough money to actually, you know, sustain a proper diet. And not to mention, you know, I, I wasn't able to get my whey protein. But I actually did get my whey protein now. Uh, it's, I have to go pick it up at the post office, but I have to go to work first. So, but I'm only working for four hours. After that, I go pick up my whey protein, and then I have to go pick up my uniform at another location, and then I have to come back, and then I'm going to uh, get my workout in and try to get back on track. Work really just, you know, flustered me. It really, you know, got me out of my element, but I'm gonna get back into the grind, start eating as much as I can, and try to make these gains as I was before, okay? So, yeah. Damn, guys, it is freaking hot outside. Well, they did say it's gonna be a, a heat alert today in Toronto. But anyway, I just got off work. I'm heading home. Today's Saturday. I was working today and I only worked for four hours anyway, but or three hours actually. So now I'm gonna go pick up my uniform because they delivered it, but I wasn't home. So they delivered it to a convenient place. Not that convenient, but you know what? I ain't mad. And after that, I'm gonna go over to the post office and pick up my whey protein. 
and soon enough I'll make that video showing you guys how to make that protein shake since a lot of you guys for some reason make some nasty ass shakes I don't get why it's not that hard you guys can make it into whatever you want don't you guys watch Chris Jones look at this look at the protein shakes he makes man he, this guy drinks the freaking he drinks the entire uh, the blender full of whey protein anyway yeah so that's what I'm gonna be doing and after that I'm gonna eat and I'm going to go get my workout in and record Bodybuilding with Calisthenics episode 4. So, well, this episode, what the hell you guys are watching anyway? Okay, I'm rambling on. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, so I'm finally back outside for another workout. As I told you guys yesterday, because I skipped yesterday's workout like an idiot. But you know what? I was. So much crap happened yesterday. Like, I'm, I'm not even gonna get into it. But. I'm gonna get back on track. I'm not gonna ramble on too much. I'm just gonna get straight into the workout, so let's get it. So a lot of you guys actually been asking me why this one is not the uncut version since this one is longer. So for those of you guys who didn't watch the video and I explained it, basically this one is the one where you see all of the weigh-ins, the meals, some of the workout, right? But in the uncut version, you see the entire workout. That's why it's uncut. In this, I just show you one set of each exercise that I do, and I don't show you guys the things I talk about in between uh, sets and reps and whatnot. That's why the episodes are so different, and that's why it seems like a lot of you guys really just like the uncut version more than this one. But then again, this is the episode where you're gonna see everything else, so the diet, uh, the, the weigh-in, and all of that stuff. Anyway, what's up SOS family? It's been two weeks since I uploaded the bodybuilding with calisthenics episode And I know some of you guys were missing it as you guys have let me know in the comment section But I just want to thank you guys for the support you guys been showing and I'm gonna try my best to keep up with the upload rate for bodybuilding with calisthenics So even if I don't upload Monday, uh, Wednesday and Friday I'm going to try to upload three at a time before I switch over to my in-home videos You know like the vegan games video and whatever whatever so I'm just trying to let you guys know it may not run on schedule as I planned because of work I work 10 hours a day and I work from what Monday to Saturday but at the same time uh, I'm still gonna try to get up early in the morning record the video and edit it when I can so I could just upload it for you guys so not Monday Wednesday Friday but at least three videos in the week y'all feel me on that one so anyway, I'm not going to say much here because I have a lot more to say in the uncut version since I have a lot more time to explain things in the uncut version. So I do hope that you guys did enjoy this episode and you guys continue to enjoy this episode as I will be showing you guys what I will be drinking for my post-workout. You guys want to see my protein shake? Well, here it is, you freaking mofos. But of course, I'm not just going to drink that unflavored whey protein with just water. I don't understand you guys make your protein shake taste good let me show you guys what i drink i'm not gonna show you guys how to make it though that'll be a separate video but i'll show you guys what i'm drinking it's gonna taste so damn good Ooh, i'm gonna love this sound let's get it started So I let this blend for like over a minute so I can make sure all of the oats get blended up real well. So now let's watch it pour inside of this cup. Oh, well, here's my cheap ass peanut butter, but it still gets the job done with 100 calories per teaspoon, no, tablespoon. Ooh, yeah, look at that, oh my gosh. I still got more to go. All of them calories though? In the name of Chris Jones, this is rated G A F, SOS certified. That's gonna be my thing now. SOS certified. You guys are gonna love this. You guys will thank me. Trust me. Doesn't that look weird when I'm not looking at the camera? I'm like looking away. Anyway, y'all will love this. Trust me. The video will be coming probably next week. Stay tuned.